the book of first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 put it up let me open up something then we round up i exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men all of this put together is one prayer supplication so the prayer paul is advocating for here in timothy is the prayer of supplication then paul is saying in this prayer of supplication intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men let, let me quickly break something down here for you you do not intercede for men no man intercedes for men intercession means you are a go between 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 that man and god the only person that has that office to intercede for men is jesus nobody else so when churches say these are our intercessors is lack of knowledge no man intercedes it's only the man jesus who intercedes so that place they put intercession there is supposed to be supplication it's translators uh in inefficiency in in words as at that time so prayers supplication or petition prayers petition and giving of thanks be made for all men not intercession intercession is strictly the work of jesus strictly somebody say i hear you hebrews 7 25 look at it here wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto god by him seeing he ever liveth to make what eh, that is the job of jesus to intercede so that word was wrongly picked there in timothy look at first timothy chapter 4 verse 5 for it is sanctified by the word of god and prayer and it is sanctified it is used in approaching the king just like supplication the word intercession amen i said amen so that prayer in first timothy 4 5 we just read is actually petition prayer a prayer of petition petition he was describing intercession as it regards the work of christ let me give you another place where the word intercession is used as it regards to the work of christ romans chapter 8 verse 33 who shall lay charge or who shall lay anything to the charge of god's elect it is god that justify it that justify it it is god that justify it 34 who is he that condemn it it is christ that died yeah rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of god who also make it intercession so intercessory ministry is the ministry of jesus another word for intercession or for jesus as intercessor is the word mediator intercessor or mediator the word mediator means a go between two the person that stands between you and god to plead your case and only jesus can do that no man can do that are we teaching if you understand they say i hear you so most of the things christians call intercessory prayer are actually prayers of supplication or prayers of petition it's just lack of teaching that makes them call it intercessory prayer because that is the absolute total office of jesus christ and let me tell you intercession is not a prayer it's what christ has done it's not even a prayer that is what christ did in his death burial resurrection ascension and glorification at the right hand of majesty and because he is there his presence there is our intercession So his presence there at the right hand of majesty is the intercession that is making for us look at first timothy chapter 2 verse 5 for there is one god and one mediator 
between God and men. The man. Did he say the man? Talk to me, city. The man. Who is the mediator? Is he man or man? So, how many people intercede for us? One, who is he? Jesus. So, we don't do intercessory prayer. Intercess, intercession is Jesus' office. We supplicate. We pray prayers of petition on behalf of one another and on behalf of the man of God, our pastor. We pray for our pastor. Touch your neighbor say, I pray for my pastor. Even if you don't, as you're saying it, don't be guilty. Just say it in faith because you will start this night. Touch your neighbor say, I pray for my pastor. Amen. I said, Amen. Hebrews 11 2. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Romans 8 34. Who is he that condemned it? It is Christ that died. It is yea, it is he that is risen. Now, so that verse 34 is the intercessory ministry of jesus go back to verse 26 likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself maketh intercession it's not even we is a spirit itself now that spirit itself it is the ministry of the holy spirit in helping our infirmities so there is the ministry of the holy spirit to help or aid us in prayer and there is the office of jesus as our intercessor so the holy ghost and jesus which is one is the only office that intercedes we don't intercede am i teaching here so don't go around telling people i'm an intercessor you're only exposing your ignorance you are not an intercessor your blood cannot save a fly you can be an intercessor the intercessor here is the person that qualifies to present an offering before the judge on your behalf that will convince the judge to overlook your offense that's an intercessor i'm teaching you and there's only one jesus you are not the intercessor but you can say you are the supplicator yeah i am going to make supplication on your behalf uh-huh then what you're saying is i'm going to pray for you without stopping i'm go i'm not going to shift ground i'm going to maintain my my position in prayer on your behalf until i'm going to prevail over men by generating power with god see i hear you if i'm teaching shout i hear so when we gather in that prayer section and we say let's pray for papa now that he be delivered from wicked and unreasonable men and you begin to pray we pray today for papa wherever men have gathered because you're dealing with men because men are responsible for creating circumstances when they say i die which people did it men. men they created the story they created all that story and only god knows what circumstances they had created to ensure i died but prayers your prayers turn to my salvation say i hear you yeah your prayers turned to my salvation so what they planned that was to finish me promoted me it made me more popular they spend their money spend their time spend their energy and god by your prayers generating power prevailed over their arrows prevailed over their setup prevailed over their conspiracy and they were planning my downfall and i was moving as if they were planning nothing why we generated power with god so we prevailed over men when you say papa see i love you i'm going to support your ministry what you're saying is papa my knees are on the ground nothing shall happen to you i'm going to stand my ground i'm not going to shift ground evil will not be for you when you see ministries that collapse in the hands of nonsense is because the members didn't pray for their pastor do you know in some churches they are very happy to talk about how their pastor and his wife are fighting so, mama and papa if you see the way they fought last sunday 
that our church has become drama every time we go there they are fighting papa just landed mama slap bah! mama said a lie she removed her shoe what in the apple before you know papa back don't they bleed ushers carry papa enter office church don't close and they go next Sunday to see part two can you see the kind of members in that church oh jesus what i'm telling you i know some churches where the pastor and the wife they fight for service and it's because nobody's praying for them no prayer cover they have exposed them to the arrows of battle without support mama and i are right in the face of battle on your behalf we are the ones confronting all the evil that darkness brings against all of you it's two of us that are in the forefront so if there's anybody you should pray for it's two of us because the more we triumph the more you advance the anointing does not flow from bottom to head it flows from head to bottom that is why we must generate a prayer cover for our spiritual leader why his triumph is our triumph his victory is our victory if mama makes me unhappy and i come here i will speak nonsense i'll tell you no prayer of supplication the prayer of supplication is called traditional prayer right now you'll be writing nonsense and you will be believing nonsense because you have not covered me so me i have intention and the tension is punishing your destiny but we don't quarrel we're always happy two of us no wahala in and out of season we don't get wahala our misunderstanding is comedy time even when we misunderstand and we spark 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 we turn it to laughter we have lived like that for 24 or 25 years now and it's just beginning but listen you need to pray for us because we are penetrating territories now how many of you know what i'm talking about with this message we are spearheading globally we are tampering with territories if there was a time you need to pray for us is now let me prophesy if there was ever a time power city is taking over the world it is now listen we are, we are possessing territories we are taking over nations somebody is not shouting that amen touch your neighbor say it's takeover time collectively we are revealing jesus to our generation if your amen is louder receive a blessing